this is Faith at Faith and Books. How are you doing? Yes, I got my hair cut. Um, I'm hoping to grow out a little bit um, before the wedding, which is in a couple of weeks, um, because it's a little too short. But anyway, the this is an announcement video. I'm just giving a heads up that um, I want to start a Discord channel, and it will basically be a theology book club. I know not very many people are going to be interested, but I'm just looking for a small core group of people who are interested in reading with me um, works of theology. And um, so I have a couple of projects lined up. I want to start this up in, in June. And so I have ideas for June through the end of the year. And then, um, and then I even have something I want to read in 2025. But uh, the first thing is just reading the epistles of St. Paul. I'm calling it the Summer of Paul. Um, and I'm going to read that. This, this is what I was planning for myself. Um, I was going to read that from the season of summer. So it starts um, with the, uh, what do you call it? The solstice. Is it the solstice? Or the equinox? I get mixed up. That's so bad. <laughs> but isn't it, it's the summer solstice, uh, June 20th. And then... Um, and then I think the equinox, unless it's the other way around. No, it's the fall equinox, isn't it? Um, it which is September 22nd. I did look up those dates. Now, June 20th, my husband is supposed to have his hip surgeries. So I guess I'll just bring the Bible with me to, uh, um, <laughs> to read while he's in the operation. It's probably a good thing to be reading um, at that time. But yeah, I was going to read all of Paul's epistles. So I'm doing all the ones traditionally attributed to him, uh, including Hebrews, which some people don't think he wrote, and um, also Timothy and Titus, which I, I never knew that some people questioned whether he wrote those, but uh, I just finished reading the book Paul by N.T. Wright, which is partially inspiring this, um, or I guess mostly inspiring it. And he said that there were there were people who questioned that, but then I looked at other sources and they didn't seem to have quite the same problems that maybe N.T. Ray had. Anyway, the reason why I wanna do this is, back in Advent, uh, the 24 days leading up to Christmas, I read a chapter of uh, the Gospel of Luke each day. There are 24 chapters. And then when I finished with that, um, after Christmas, I decided I'd keep reading Luke and I'd read the Acts of the Apostles, which I did. And of course, the second half of the Acts really focuses on Paul. And then just about that time, Jennifer Brooks passed away. And one of the books that she had talked about was that book by N.T. Wright, um, Paul, A Biography. So I just finished reading that. I just had a really good Zoom discussion with uh, Christy Lewis of Dostoevsky in Space and Linda of um, Elder Talk. And um, I really appreciated the book a lot. And um, so it, but while I was reading it, I wish that I was reading his epistles right alongside so I could understand or see what he was referring to. Because a lot of it was familiar, but I just wanted it as a reference. So I would go and look up stuff, but it was too time consuming. And so I really want to just do a deep dive and read through all of his epistles as, as a reading project. So that's why I came up with the idea of the Summer of Paul. If anyone wants to join me, that would be wonderful. I'm going to set up this Discord. I'm going to do it after my daughter's wedding, which is the 25th. It's like this big event looming over my life. Um, and after it's over, I'm going to come back and I'm going to figure out how to start up my own channel. I don't think it'll be hard. And um, what I'll do is I'll just make each of the epistles its own section, you know, so we can just talk about each each uh, epistle as we read through it. And people can come in and out. You know, if you only want to read Romans, but you don't want to read the other things, then you could do that. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just hoping there'll be some people who, who want to do this with me. So that was the first project that I was thinking of, and that would go June 20th to September 22nd. Um, the second project that I was thinking of doing is, I got this book, The Lord, by Romano Guardini, and I really wanted to read it. I think this was part of my Read 24 in 24, so I wanted to read 24 books that have been sitting on my shelves in uh, 2024, and this was one of them. And I started it in January, and I got all the way to page... 54 <laughs> and stop. So uh, I got to through chapter uh, uh, 
eight, I guess. Um, so you can see. Um, and so what I'd like to do is try to read this. Now this is a chunker, but I'm thinking I would read it slowly, starting in June again, and all the way through the end of the year. And um, so if you don't know who Romano Guardini is, he was a very well-respected uh, 20th century theologian. He's, uh, he's Italian, but he lived most of his life in Germany. And um, uh, he's very well respected and he's a wonderful writer and he's very innovative. That's my, I think my son said, uh, characterized him as that. So he really kind of thinks outside the box. So it's very rich. He's got uh, like a blurb here from the New York Times. Uh, H.A. Reinhold of Commonweal, which is kind of a, uh, what do I want to say? I hate saying liberal and conservative in religious terms, but it's more of a liberal uh, magazine, Catholic magazine. And then there's a blurb from Joseph Cardinal Ratzinger, who was also Pope Benedict uh, XVI. This was published in 1954. So anyway, it's a, his retelling of Jesus' life. Um, and, and they're pretty short chapters. So, uh, so I do think it's readable. It is a chunker. How many pages is it? Um, the actual text, let's see, it ends. Oh no, there's nothing in the back here. It's six, 629. So, so I wanna read that. If anybody wants to read this with me, um, it is Catholic, it's probably gonna have Mary and the Eucharist and stuff in it, so I don't know if um, Protestants it, you might be interested or it might not be for you. Um, but what I'm gonna do, I, what I'm planning to do is I'm just gonna put my thoughts. I'm using, I'm gonna use this Discord channel as just a place for me to write up my thoughts. I used to have a blog where I would sit and do that. And when you're doing these slow reads and they're really thought provoking reads, it's good to like write something down as you're going through it. And then if other people are doing it, they can respond to it or they can, you know, bring up different points or counterpoints. Um, and so, you know, and the thing is, if I'm just doing that, nobody else is reading this with me, you know, somebody might decide to start reading it in November or something, or, or maybe next year you'll read it and it'll still be up and you can go back and we can talk about it then, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, synchronized. Um, but it's nice if it, if it is, but, but if that doesn't turn out to be the case, it, it's okay as well. So, yeah, so that's my second project. So the first one is Paul. Oh, here, I'm just going to show you. I use, this tends to be my reading Bible. This is the Ignatius uh, Revised Standard Version, Catholic edition. And, you know, Paul, all his letters only take up like 67 pages. I mean, it's amazing how much impact, influence he had for somebody we really know so little about and we have so little um, from him. And yet it's, it's really, it's really amazing. So anyway, so this is the book, uh, this is the Bible I'll probably read from. And I do have a couple of study, uh, I have a study guide um, for Romans and Galatians. I don't think I have any other study guides. And I'll use this and see if it's helpful. And then I might get other study guides or I might just read it straight or I might just look up stuff online. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not being that, um, you know, I'm not planning it out to that level. I want to be able to just sort of respond in the time and see what work is working best for me at the time. So that's Paul and that's the Lord um, by Guardini. And then another thing I want to do and this would be in October and November. This is a book that I have talked about before on my channel. It's Compassion and Conviction. Now this is Baptist. The people who wrote this were Baptist. Um, but it is about how to be a, a, a Christian in the public square, how to hold on to your Christian convictions in the public square. And it's very good. It's really, really good. It's set up for churches. Um, to have like study groups kind of. Um, and so there's eight chapters. You could do a chapter a week. And then at the end, there is there are questions to ask. And there's actually little exercises to do if you have a group, you know, you divide them up and you have them do these. But we would just be answering the questions, I think. Um, so and I wanna do this around the election time, you know, November, because 
this is such a sane way to view things and it's so true to Christianity and what we're called to be that um, I really, I think I'm gonna find it comforting in a, in a very contentious um, election season. Um, I think th it helped me before. <laughs> I was actually in an online group um, with uh, people from the AND campaign. That's, these, are pe these people have started something called the AND campaign. So here, I'll show you a picture of the, of the authors. So now I know this guy's a Baptist minister and this guy has become a Baptist minister. Maybe he wasn't when he wrote this, but he's definitely become one. And this guy, I don't know about, I don't know about that one. But anyway, um, it's a, it's a really good book. It's small, you know, it's easy to digest, but it really has you thinking and, and it's a good way to fight the overwhelm and the, and the feeling of being lost because politics is so contentious um, right now and it feels feels so doom and gloom so yeah so this would be October and November and I think it would be a really really worthwhile endeavor to to get a little group going to and it doesn't matter what your leanings are are you liberal are you conservative that's not what it's talking about it's talking about being Christian and how to approach politics um, in the right way so um, so yeah, so, so that's the last project that I have planned. Um, so, um, so that would take us through December, right? And then in the new year, I want to, uh, I'd like to tackle this book, The God of Faith and Reason, Foundations of Christian Theology. I think this is coming from a Catholic perspective. I mean, the guy teaches at Catholic University of America. Um, the print is a little bit light and small. Um, but anyway, this is uh, a book that's been sitting on my shelf for a long time, and I would like to, to read it. Now, this might be sort of basic Theology 101, but I can always use a refresher because I'm not a theologian. I enjoy reading it, but a lot of times it's over my head. So this is kind of a nice intro, I think. I think that's what that, this is going to be. So anyway, so The God of Faith and Reason, I'd like to maybe read that in January. And I want to follow up my study of St. Paul, you know, reading Acts, reading the epistles, reading Paul, a biography by N.T. Wright, with uh, tackling this. This is St. Paul by Pope Benedict the Sixteenth. I, I really like Pope Benedict's writings, even though it's a bit it's off over my head, but I feel like there's, it's so rich, it's so rich. And this is a collection of lectures he gave, or what did they call them? Audiences, hit general audiences from July 2nd, 2008 to February 4th, 2009. And, um, and they've just been uh, compiled into this book. So I would love to read what Pope Benedict has to say about St. Paul. So those are my ideas. I, if you want to join me for reading the Epistles of Paul, the Summer of Paul, that would be so wonderful. The Lord by Romano Guardini, uh, Compassion and Conviction in the election season in October and November, and then possibly next year. I've already got a couple of things lined up. Then, of course, if people want to join this Discord and um, suggest their own, uh, you know, we can work that in too. So, um, so anyway, this is my idea, and this is just you know a little teaser for it. It isn't even set up yet. I'm going to do that later this month, but I really want to try it. I want to see um, how well it works, and um, yeah, I think it would be a good thing. It's been rolling around in my head, so I thought, why not? Let's let's give it a try. All right. I hope you find this interesting, and I'm you know. I'll be back later to talk about books that I'm reading now, but that'll be maybe in a couple of weeks. All right. I hope you're doing well and happy reading. Bye-bye.